love it. I 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 love it. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching and clicking on this video. I really appreciate all of you. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Uh, today we're gonna do a little mini haul with two fragrances only, but one is very expensive and the other one is very affordable. So I've already opened one fragrance and I've been waiting for another one to open um, for you and for me. Uh, I wanted to share this first impression with you. I heard about this fragrance so much and I know Gabby loves perfume, she loves it so much. And it's very talked about fragrance, it's like best fragrance for summer. Uh, Jeremy Fragrance is talking about this as well all the time. So I finally got my hands on it and it's uh, Dolce & Gabbana like Blue Intense. It's still sealed. So I'm gonna unpack it and I'm gonna finally see what it's like. I used to have the original version, just um, light blue from Dolce & Gabbana and I really loved it, but it was many years ago when I was much younger and everybody's saying that this is much better. So I'm just gonna see what it's like. So I'm gonna open it. It's got really nice uh, seal on the top. Mm. It says Dolce & Gabbana with the silver yeah so let's reopen it finally so I can finally smell it and I can be finally um, using this fragrance so I actually smelled it before so it's not flying by but it's always different when you smell it on your skin Mm, it's got nice suet and case and it's beautiful really so <laughs> yeah it's always nice when you open new things isn't it so this fragrance was launched in 2017 I just love opening new fragrances and new things oh look at this yeah, I can't wait to spray it, guys. Let's see, what is everybody talking about? It's not very tight, this thing, the top. I mean, yes, it is tight enough, yeah, it's tight enough, so you shouldn't lose it. No. Okay, I can't smell it from there, so... Did you see that? It didn't spray twice. First two times because it's new. Now it's sprayed third time. Yeah, I can smell the difference, I think. I can't remember much from the original, but... Yeah, I know now what people are talking about. It's really nice. Mmm, yes. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's good for summer. It's brilliant, brilliant. So it consists of um, top notes, very citrusy notes, lemon, and granny apple. It's very nice. I love it. Let's see the atomizer. Ooh. It's very nice, beautiful, fresh fragrance. I love it. 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 Oh, I now know what everybody's talking about. Beautiful. So let's carry on with the notes. In the, as I said, in the top notes, there is lemon and uh, granny apple. In the hard notes, there is marigold and jasmine. And in the base, it's sandalwood and musk. So it's pretty simple, basic fragrance and. I really like it. Yeah, lovely, beautiful. Mm, I wouldn't mind smell like this all the time in summer. 
great nice fragrance nice sprayer atomizer it was uh, actually in sales so i got it for a very good price this is 50 mil and i got it for 25 pounds um, from boots so um it's got lovely uh, like blue color inside but you can't see it much to be honest i i expected it to be much uh much more um much more blueish but it's not very blue just tiny blue so, yep but i like it it's really nice I can't say much about longevity because I haven't really tried it and I haven't worn it yet so maybe next time, maybe some other time the projection is really good I can smell it <sighs> like like yeah, and almost meters away <laughs> yeah I can smell it's gonna be like meters away projection it's really good, I love it very good, nice summer. I'm, I'm glad I finally have it like for summer, nice summer fragrance. So that's uh, one buy. That's one of the more more affordable buys. This one, that's uh, Dolce and Gabbana like blue or oh, intense. I think you pronounce it like oh in tones. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's not complicated things. So let's move on to the next one, and that will be the more expensive one I mean expensive one so Tom Ford Rose Prick that's expensive one so I've already tried Tom Ford Rose Prick and I've opened it already I unpacked it before it comes in a, this kind of packaging beautiful so this beautiful packaging in a baby pink color and it comes like this on the pedestal and the bottle is like that I love it but it's important what's inside of this bottle so my experience with rose brick from Tom Ford is it's beautiful scent, beautiful fragrance I'm gonna spray it watch this atomizer Ooh. so it's really nice beautiful fragrance um, and the main notes in it are Sichuan pepper turmeric at the top uh, in the heart you got three roses May rose, Turkish rose and Bulgarian rose so heart consists only from the roses and then at the base notes you've got two notes and that is patchouli and tonka bean so patchouli and tonka bean are my favorite as well i'm not a rose person but i really love this blend of the roses in there i absolutely love these roses in there and it apparently comes from a um, tom ford garden private garden um, you can really smell at the opening you can really smell a little bit of spiciness it's a little punch of spiciness but um, I would say the whole thing is very nicely blended and you can smell roses there but not too much not th they are sort of there would I say prominent I wouldn't say prominent because it's all blended like it's whole complex and um, these roses are like beautiful in there it's not like just typical rosy rosy smell no 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 it's very gentle roses in there and it's a little bit like it's got kick to it like with this with the spices turmeric and Sichuan pepper so you get best of both worlds I really love this scent absolutely gorgeous and um, it's very versatile scent for any occasion for any season day and night it's really very very subtle scent the only issue i have with this scent is projection and longevity for the price of this fragrance i think it should be much better it doesn't project too much um like enormous amount and doesn't last like extremely long I think 
If it was just like a um, designer fragrance, it would be okay, but for this amount of money that you pay for this scent, it should be much better. So, that's my opinion. And um, otherwise, this scent is beautiful, it's gorgeous. Um, I would say it's for mature women more than for teenagers. I don't think it's for teenagers, I think it's for 25 plus women. And it's very nice romantic scent, you can wear it on a date night. Um, it's beautifully blended, so um, I think it's beautiful scent, it's just too pricey. That's all I can say about this. Now let me know down in the comments guys if you smelled it or if you've got it. People say they can compare it to Delina, but to me, when you actually smell it a bit longer, it's um, not too um, similar to Delina. Um, the Marley, I think it's quite a different scent, but one thing they've got in common is actual roses. Um, they're both quite gentle roses, so that's what they've got in common, but otherwise they're not too similar because this one is more spicy and um, I think it's better than Delina to me. So um, I really like this one and would I recommend it? Um, yes, but try to find it somewhere for a cheaper original obviously because for the price you pay for it, it should last longer and the projection should be longer. I think if Tom Ford put it in a range of not his private collection but his other collection where it's like um, Noir Pour Femme, which I've got as well, and all this normal collection that he's got, sorry I can't remember what it's called, it's just normal collection of Tom Ford, then it would be much better or if it was like designer. Uh, fragrance, but uh, for the money, for the amount of money you pay for it, he should work more on the projection and longevity of this fragrance. But otherwise, it's a beautiful scent. Yeah. So I think that's about uh, it about these two fragrances. I hope you enjoy my review, and um, yeah, let me know what you think about these two, about Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense and Tom Ford Rose Prick. Yeah, let me know guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!